Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'm going to be discussing the NWSL regular season match between the Orlando Pride and Bay FC. Alright, so the Pride are coming off of a 1-0 win against Racing Louisville. Alright, so I didn't really know what to talk about when it came to the Pride, so I'm just going to talk about Barbara, Barbara Banda. So yeah, the biggest game changer for the Pride has to be the arrival of Barbara Banda. Banda in the Pride's last three matches has been dangerous in the Pride attack, creating many goal-scoring opportunities for her teammates, as well as scoring goals herself. Her ability to make runs as well as getting around and outpacing defenders has been advantageous for the Pride attack. The connection between Banda and Watt has been great as well. Another player Banda could connect well with is Adriana. While Adriana has just come back from injury, an attacking partnership between Adriana and Banda could also be something to look out for. Both of these players are quick on their feet, can get around defenders, break through defenses, and create many chances for the attack as well as themselves. An attacking line consisting of Banda, Watt, and Adriana has the potential to cause a lot of problems for opposing teams. In this case, AFC. While the Pride attack should do well in this match, the Pride backline and defense may face some challenge from Bay FC. Despite coming off of losses in their last four games, Bay FC still has the ability to score. Um, they have 1.62 goals per match, and will do so if given the chance. The Pride needs to lock down their defense and watch out for long passes behind the back line. Despite a few errors here and there, the Pride's defending has been solid overall. In their recent matches, the Pride has been playing in a 4-4-2, which allows for better support in the defense, as well as better control and movement in the midfield. For now, I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's get into the lineup for this right. match. So the lineup. We have Anna Morehouse in the goal. For defenders, Emily Sams, Hafaeli, Kylie Strom, and Carrie Abello. In the midfield and attack, Haley McCutcheon, Morgan Gautreaux, Summer Yates, Adriana, Barbara Banda, and Julie Doyle. All right, so Martha is back from injury and is available off the bench. Interestingly enough, Ali Watt is also going to be available off the bench as well. Originally, I figured Watt would start again with Banda since that has been a strong attacking partnership in the Pride's last two matches. However... With Watt on the bench, this allows us to see how well Adriana, Yates, and Doyle will connect with Banda and each other. As mentioned previously, Banda's connection with Adriana is something to watch out for. Banda and Adriana's chemistry could take some time to develop, yes, <laughs> but I believe it will be worth it in the end. Anyway, I want to keep this short, so let's get into the All first right, half. you guys, so I'm going to be making an executive decision here. <laughs> um, instead of doing a play-by-play -play like I normally do, I'll just be reading my first half and second half slash closing notes. This is because the Seattle Reign have an after-dark match directly after the Pride match. That match will probably end a little after midnight since I'm on the East Coast and <laughs> it's an NWSL after-dark match. And yeah, I want to be able to sleep tonight. I hope you guys can understand I'm, if it wasn't set up like this or if the games didn't run into each other, I would be doing a play-by-play. -play. Anyway, that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the first half. Orlando Pride, 1-0. Goal scorers for the Pride, Adriana. Banda would get tripped and go down in the box. The referee instantly awards a penalty kick to the Pride Adriana would step up and convert the penalty. Overall, this was a good first half for the Pride. It was a bit of a slow start for the Pride early on, but the team started to get settled as the first half went on. There was good control movement and possession in the midfield, as well as good connection in the attack. Banda and Adriana have been doing well getting past defenders and breaking through Bay FC's defense. The Pride created many good chances from open play in addition to receiving multiple corner kicks. However, the Pride were unable to put away their chances. Going into the second half, the Pride needs to maintain control, connect better in the box, and of course, finish their chances. When it comes to the backline and defense, there were a few moments where Bay FC was able to get on the ball, 
But for the most part, the Pride have been doing well keeping possession. The Pride has been successful at cutting off Bay FC's attack in the midfield. Going into the second half, the Pride is still needing to, of course, watch out for Bay FC's transitions and counterattacks, as well as their passes behind the back line. I noticed Bay FC loves those long passes because they have players who can get on the end of them and outrun defenders. In regard to this half, the Pride back line did well to shut those down early and recover possession. That being said, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, Orlando Pride wins 1-0. It was an all right second half. <laughs> um, the Pride faced more pressure from Bay FC in the second half. Nevertheless, the Pride was still able to maintain control and get their attack forward. The team created a few good chances here and there, but most of their attempts and shots would be saved by Bay FC's goalkeeper or recovered by the defense. Could the Pride have scored more goals in this match as a whole? Yes, <laughs> definitely. I think so, um, especially in the first half. But um, for the most part, this was still a solid performance and a good win for the Pride. The backline and midfield did well when it came to responding to Bay FC's attack, in addition to recovering possession. While Bay FC did have a few threatening and dangerous moments in the second half, there was a sense that it wasn't anything this Pride team couldn't handle. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight. Congrats to the Pride, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!